Paul's Epistle to the Romans, chapter 1, verses 1 through 7. Please read the text in your own Bible translation before you view this video. Some Christians at Rome were Jewish followers of Jesus, whilst others were Gentiles who had learned of Jesus from Jewish Christians. Some of these may have doubted that Paul was a true messenger or apostle of Jesus. Before going to Rome, Paul wanted the Romans to know the form of Jesus' good news that Paul announced to Gentiles who had no Jewish background or teaching. Thus, Paul employs Greek words and phrases that Roman Christians understood clearly but may seem obscure to us living in the 21st century. The Greek text that you see displayed in the middle of your screen is based upon the oldest available Greek manuscripts, such as the 4th century Greek Codex Sinaiticus. Romans 1, 1 through 7, was carefully copied over many centuries, having three known variants. In verse 1, from the 5th century, some Greek manuscripts read Christ Jesus for Jesus Christ. And in verse 7, one ninth century Greek manuscript lacks the words in Rome, and it reads in God's love in place of beloved by God. These seven brief verses consist of one long Greek sentence containing no fewer than 33 biblical terms that you may wish to review. You may stop and restart this video as we scroll through this vocabulary list. The grammar and syntax of the Greek sentence allows us to form a structural outline useful for teaching the content of verses 1 through 7. We learn that Paul is a servant of Jesus Christ, called an apostle, and separated to the gospel of God. As to the gospel, or good news, it was promised before, through the prophets, in the Holy Scriptures, and is about God's Son. We learn that God's Son, in his body, was born in King David's lineage, and in his spirit was declared to be God's Son, with power, in holiness, by resurrection from the dead. He is Jesus Christ our Lord. It was through Jesus Christ that Paul received grace and apostleship to bring others to an obedient faith amongst all communities, Jews and Gentiles alike, for his namesake. And this includes you, who are called unto Jesus Christ, Jews and Gentiles, who are beloved of God and called to belong to him. Grace, the common Greek greeting, and peace, the common Jewish greeting, to you from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 1, 1 through 7, alludes to at least 14 important Christian doctrines. Christians call upon God as Father. Christians call upon Jesus as Lord. Christians believe the Holy Scriptures. The Hebrew prophets foretold the Gospel Jesus is a descendant of King David, and Jesus is the Holy Son of God. Jesus has a human body and spirit, whilst he is the Christ, the Jewish Messiah. Jesus suffered death, then rose from death to life. Jesus has appointed apostles by his own authority to take the gospel to all nations. God loves you Christians and calls you his holy ones. And those who believe in Jesus 
Obey Him. The software used to produce this video include Olive Tree Bible software, which includes both the free application and many resources, including the New King James Version displayed on the left side of your screen, and the Society of Biblical Literature Greek New Testament in the middle of your screen. This session was recorded with FreeCam, and the webcam was displayed with Webcam Viewer, and the notes written in Microsoft WordPad. If you appreciate this brief, direct approach to the Bible, please leave a comment below.